Glendale just experienced the greatest housing crash ever recorded. Now I know what you're thinking, it didn't feel like 2008, 2010, that kind of stuff, but the numbers are in folks and the real estate market crashed over the last two years. And here's where we're gonna start with 91201. In 2023, from 2022, the volume in that neighborhood dropped 32%. That is 32% less homes sold in that one year time. Prices, however, raised 8% in that same time period. So while prices did well, the volume was really down. Compare 2021 with 2023, and you're gonna see that prices rose 23%. So think about that. A million dollar home in 2021 is now $1,230,000 just two years later. And volume was down 50% from last year to 2021. That is a huge decline. Now let's look at 91202. In 91202, we saw prices rise 17% in the year from 2022 to 2023. In 91202, the average price was $1,931,000. That was up 17% just from the year before. But when you look at volume, the number of sales, that was actually down 36% from 76 sales down to 49. That's just one year, folks. Now let's compare 2023 with 2021 for that zip code. Prices were up 36% in that two year period. That's huge. But the number of homes sold was down 46% to 49 sales. But in 2021, there were 91 sales in that same time period. So the crash was in volume in the number of sales. Let's continue. In 91205, this is gonna be in the Adams Hill area. The average sale price last year was $1,093,000. That was down 7%, okay? Volume was down 29% to 30 sales from the year before of 42. Let's compare 2021 with 2023 down in the Adams Hill area. Prices were up 12% in that two year period and volume was down 42%. In 2021, we saw 52 sales and last year only 23. In 2021, we saw 52 sales and last year only 30. Let's go over to 91206. Average sale price was $1,671,000. That was actually up 5% from 2022. Now, volume there, similar situation, down 30%. We saw 73 sales in that zip code where we saw 105 sales the year before. Okay, let's go to 2021 compared to 2023 in that zip code. Prices were up 19% in that span of time. The number of homes sold down 51%. We saw 149 sales in 2021, yet only 73 sales in 2023. Let's go to Ross Moyne, my neighborhood, 91207 zip code. Average price, $1,907,000 last year. That was up 2% from 1,866. Not a whole lot. Now, volume down 17%. There were 57 sales last year compared to 69 sales the year before. But let's look at 2021 versus 2023. 2021 saw an average price of a million six ninety, and of course last year million nine oh seven. Prices up 13 percent in those two years. Volume similar story down 33 percent. Now, that zip code averages about 85 sales per year, and I've studied that market a long time. And to hit 57, that's a huge drop. Again, volume. Okay, and finally, 91208. Average sale price, $1,665,000, is actually up one point from the $1,641,000 of the year before in 2022. That's not a whole lot, it's pretty flat. But the volume, let's look at it, down 12%. So 78 sales last year, down from 89. But let's look at that two year number. We are up 
14% in that zip code in price, and we are down 55% in that zip code in the two year volume measure. So again, huge drop in the number of sales. So what does this all mean for Glendale? Well, the big picture is we just finished a two year cycle and that began in early 2022 when the Fed decided they were gonna start raising their rate. Mortgage rates went from literally 3% to 7.5% within the span of about six months in 2022. That carried into 2023 and we eventually hit 8%. However, just last month, December of 2023, the Fed said they were done and rates dropped dramatically. Today they're sitting at six and a half percent and we expect them to go forward with even lower rates. We just completed a cycle, folks. Two years from 22 to the end of 23 and I think we're done. And I think we're done with the high interest rates because that has actually kept a lot of homeowners from wanting to make a move. And if we can get interest rates down into the low sixes and maybe the fives, I think you're gonna see a lot of homeowners say, I'm ready to make a move. I'm ready to go for that larger house that my family needs. But when mortgage rates are at seven and a half percent and they have a 3% on their current home, that math is really ugly and they are not making the move. And quite frankly, I don't blame them. We're coming into a new market. It's gonna be a very, very hot market. And if we don't get enough listings on the market soon, you're gonna see an overheated market for the buyers taking advantage of the lower interest rates and multiple offers and bidding up. So you're gonna see prices rise. Could be dramatic unless we get more inventory on the market. I do not see a situation where prices are gonna go down over the next year or two or three, barring any other kind of um, cataclysmic financial situation but I think we're in good shape. If you have any questions about what your neighborhood is doing or about what your street or home is doing, give me a call. I am happy to sit down and have a private conversation with you about real estate in Glendale.